It seems now more than ever, image is important. Online personality is important. A decade ago, not everyone had a smartphone, but everyone had an iPod. Nowadays, everyone has a smartphone, and no one has an iPod. The difference is, we now desire to see something, just hearing something's not enough. And what The Weeknd did in 2011 by staying anonymous and hiding behind his music, it wouldn't work today. In order to pop, artists need to be visible. And that's exactly what Zanman is doing. The Maryland rapper has released six music videos in the span of one month since coming home from jail in May. He's been working relentlessly, not by telling, but by showing the world he's here to stay. And like I said, image is big, and by forcing his face on camera over and over again, even a deaf man could recognize Zanman. Furthermore, what's impressive is his appearance, it's not flashy at all. He literally looks like the guy who lives next door in your college dorm. In his videos, he comes off as a funny guy, you know, the type of guy who would crack the most jokes at the lunch table. And his music reflects that. His punchlines are hilarious, like hit him with a stick, Happy Gilmore. And while rapping along to his songs is fun, it's his singing that's most compelling. Zanman's voice is nothing extraordinary, but he croons with this confidence, as if he's singing in the shower. In fact, he told music blog Pigeons and Planes that he uses no autotune whatsoever on his main vocal tracks. Should he? No. He shouldn't change a thing. What he's doing is working. And if it ain't broke, why fix it?